people still, of course, have so many questions about COVID-19. So joining us this morning is Dr. Henry Anyemudo, who is an infectious diseases consultant at the Hospital of Central Connecticut to help answer some of those questions that you all have been asking us on Facebook. Good morning, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us here on your Sunday morning. Okay, we are trying to get a hold of Dr. Anyemudo. We're hoping to get him to answer some of those questions here in a second. Um, some of those questions, Doctor, can you hear me? Yes, Caitlin, I can hear you. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking some time to help answer some of these questions. We've been hearing from viewers for you know days and weeks now about what is going on with in relation to this outbreak and epidemic. Uh, can you tell us, can a person become reinfected or will we develop antibodies to the virus? In other words, can, can we get this more than once? Caitlin, that's a very interesting question, but unfortunately we do not have a lot of data to support that. We do know that in general, for viral illnesses, if someone gets uh, any viral illness, they usually will develop antibodies, and those antibodies sometimes can last a lifetime, like measles. But unfortunately for COVID-19, we don't know if those antibodies can last a lifetime or if they will last for a short period of time. If they do last for a, lo a lifetime, then yes, you, can, you cannot get the infection again. But if they last for a short period of time, let's say six months to one year, then there's a likelihood that you can have the infection again. But all the data that we are gathering right now suggests that people may be immune for a very long time. Okay, and you know... Understand it. Of course, this is a developing situation. We're still trying to learn so much about the virus. And, you know, this is causing so much stress for so many of us, not just here in the United States, but all across the globe. Do you have any practices for the best way to deal with those high-stress situations? I think in these are very difficult times, and they are unprecedented times. And uh, one of the things that we keep emphasizing is that, physical distancing. And we believe that if we can all maintain that social distancing or that physical distancing, then we can prevent our healthcare systems from getting overwhelmed. In, in general, uh, apart from so physical distancing, we also expect people to be washing their hands to make sure that they are cleaning surfaces that are frequently touched, to make sure that they are covering their coughs and covering their sneezes. If we do these things, then we can truly try to cap the trajectory of this illness. Okay, fantastic. And you know, one of the questions that so many people have been asking is where are we exactly on the curve of this outbreak? Do we know, will this get worse before it gets better? Are we expected to peak anytime soon? It's definitely going to get worse before it gets better with most of these epidemics that we know from history, it's definitely going to get worse. I, I can't say for sure whether we are peaking, but uh, I don't think we are there yet, and we are going to peak. It's definitely going to get worse before it gets better. Okay, that's some good information for our viewers. Expect it to get worse before it gets better. No exact timeline there. So I want to go back to the emergency rooms. Um, it, you know, a lot of these medical health care facilities are seeing uh, increase in volume. They're also dealing with some issues getting equipment. Uh, what are doctors seeing in those emergency rooms and who should and should not go to the ER? I, I think... Uh, everyone who is sick should call their primary care physicians first or call the Hartford Healthcare Command Center. We have a clinical uh, care center that you can call. The number is 860-972-8100. And these, these are clinicians, these are nurses that are waiting to take your call, and they will guide you through exactly what you need to do. Because we're seeing that if uh, a lot of people go to our emergency rooms not only do they risk infecting our healthcare providers, but they risk getting the infection as well if they don't already have it. 
So it's very important that we go through these uh, clinical command centers. And there are several other ways to get information. There's a text no- a text number that you can text. You can text COVID-19 to 31996, and you will get all the information that you need. And someone will be at the end of the line to guide you through exactly what you need to do.